Hey folks, it's Troy, and I wanted to uh, show you what I've been up to recently. Um, I uh, have some, there's something I've always wanted to do, but I was a little uh, afraid to do it, and that was to start a garden. And one of the reasons why I was afraid to start a garden is because I do have house plants, but I've never been able to maintain them very well, and uh, some of them do okay, but some of them die after a short amount of time. But um, I had some, some time on my hands, and I wanted to explore gardening. So the, the first thing I wanted to do was just ex explore starting with an herb garden. So I went to a local nursery uh, in my neighborhood. It's called Shoal Creek Nursery, great nursery. And I picked up three herbs, uh, basically rosemary, thyme, and oregano. And I planted those, and they seem to be doing well. And whenever I need, need the herbs, I just bring some scissors out, snip off a little bit, and then take them directly into my kitchen and start cooking with them. And they have great flavor. I think they're a little bit young right now, but as they grow, I think more of their flavor will come out. Um, so with the success of my herb garden, I decided to try something else out that I've known about for quite a while, but I was apprehensive about starting it. And that involves this uh, box here. And so I'm gonna open this up and uh, show you guys what this is. I'm really excited to start this project. Um, basically, you can pick these up at uh, some nurseries and maybe even at Home Depot, but I ordered mine online uh, from Amazon and I can provide the link to it. And what this is, it's called a Mr. Stacky. And the way it works is uh, it's basically a vertical gardening tool. And if you haven't heard of vertical gardening, well, uh, I think it's kind of cool. Of course, you can garden in your yard and plant in the ground. But what this allows you to do is uh, get, get these pieces. And then let me see how this works. They stack one on the other. like so. And so what this allows you to do, and so this, this, this one is called, uh, it's from Mr. Stacky. You can go to their website or you can go to Amazon to find them. Um, and this is the large version. They have a smaller one, but this is the large version because I wanted to plant some larger plants. But what it allows you to do, it's uh, five tiers and each of these has four spots to plant plants. So that's a total of 20 plants that you can plant within, you know, less than two square feet. And so I've known about vertical gardening for a while, and I've wanted to try it, but uh, just never, I don't know, never pulled the, gun, the trigger, but now I am. And so it's pretty simple. I mean, it's basically like a normal gardening. Um, you have these bins, and basically you get some potting soil, and I'm going to use potting soil. That I picked up at the nursery. Uh, it's a high quality potting soil, so hopefully I needed every advantage I could could use. Uh, and then you just pour some potting soil into each of these planters. I mean, you can do it while they're stacked up, but I, I thought it might be easier to do it while they're all laying flat. So anyway, um, I ordered these and it took a few days to get to me. But in the meantime, what I did is I started, I purchased some seeds from my nursery and I started uh, germinating them, which means just basically starting the seeds early to see which ones will sprout. And so basically, uh, you know, I took some of these little containers and you just poke a hole in there, maybe about, you know, half a finger length, about an inch, inch and a half deep, you plant a seed. And then uh, sometimes within a few days, this, the seed will start sprouting. And that way, you know, it's a good seed and you can transplant it into any type of planter. 
Um, what you don't want to do is just, you know, well, I mean, you can do it, but if you plant directly into the planter, some of the seeds will be good, some of them won't be good. I guess this is just a way of uh, economizing that you plant good seeds. So anyway, um, so you just kind of put the soil into these planters and then I'm just spreading them around a little bit. And then you stack them up. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get like a, a roller tray on the bottom, put this on the bottom so that I can move it around and I can uh, rotate it so that all the plants get good sun. So you do something like that. Now, I have some seeds that I've planted and you know, if you don't have these like little pots, these nice little pots, you can, all, you can do other things like, I just used this old plastic container that <laughs> basically that spinach came in and I started uh, planting seeds to, um, to sprout them. So I have like, uh, I think three or four different types of seeds in here. I think I have uh, some carrots, some lettuce, and some Asian greens called bok choy. I mean, the other thing that you can do is you can take basically um, vegetables that you buy in the supermarket. These are just green onions because I love green onions. And you can stick them in here and they'll start growing, you know. And then basically when you need some, some greens, you just come out here and snip off the tops. Or you can pull them up and use the whole thing. But I'm going to try this as well. So I didn't fill this top part up with enough soil, so I'm going to have to put some soil in there. I'm going to transplant my herbs up into this top part. And then I've kind of outlined what I'm going to plant on each of these. I'm going to put some root vegetables down bottom, some beans maybe, or peas in the mid layers, uh, some lettuce and leafy greens kind of higher up. Uh, you know, actually I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just experimenting, but we'll see how it goes. So I hope that I don't mess up these herbs, but so I transplanted them into this plastic container. So this is going to be the second transplant, but I'm just going to take this, plop it right here into one of these little sections. And this is my thyme. I think that's the oregano and this is the thyme. And then this is the rosemary. There. Okay, it looks good. So I have these four items in this one planter and they each have a section and I'm putting these on top because I know that these are ones I'm going to access like almost on a daily basis. So I wanted them up top and easy to get to. I can just come and snip them off. On the lower levels, there'll be things like carrots and lettuce that I'll harvest all at one time. But um, I'm just the, the beauty of this is you just fill out the plants and then you water it from the top. And then each of these planters has holes in it and they drain into the, the planter below it. So you, order, you water this one planter and then the water flows down, waters all the other plants. So it's very economical in terms of water and using your time to water. So this is what I'm starting with. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. Um, this is called the Mr. Stacky Planters. And you know I have these plants that are like ready to eat, ready to go. I'm gonna put in a series of other seeds and plants and hopefully over the next few months I'll have a full garden and this will be completely filled with vegetables that I can eat daily. Anyway, that's all folks. It's called the Mr. Stacky Planner and this is my little garden. Okay folks, so this is a close up of the Mr. Stacky uh, garden. And basically uh, what I've done is I've planted, uh, this is thyme, rosemary, green onions and oregano. Those are some of the spices and um, herbs that I 
like to generally use. And then that's the top layer. And then below it, you have four other layers. And so I think what I'm going to do is, you know, this top layer will be uh, some herbs. And then maybe the second layer, I think it might be some greens like lettuce and spinach and bok choy, Asian green. Then below that might be some beans or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll put the beans on the second to top level. Uh, down here, I think I'm going to do more like some root vegetables, some carrots, some beets. And then down on the very bottom, I think I might try to do some melon, so watermelon, maybe cantaloupe. But this is the Mr. Stacky. There's five tiers. In each tier, you can plant at least four different plants. In some of these, uh, you can probably plant multiple plants. But I also wanted to show you part of the, the beauty of this in terms of watering it. So they're all stacked up, one on the other. And as you water these plants, you know, you just... And I don't even have like a fancy watering can. I'm just using an old milk container. But as you water them, then they drain into the next planter. You see how the water's coming out? It goes into the next planter. And of course, I don't have any seeds or plants in these layers yet, but in the coming days, I hope to put some in. So this is my little garden, and I'm making it with the Mr. Stacky planters. Uh, hope you enjoy this.